How's it going everybody? So this is Experience Enniskillen part three. This is the last of the pilot series. In part one and part two, we met with O'Darty's Butchers. We met with Finton and Pat in there. We met with Joe the Baker, the artisan sourdough bread specialist. So for part three, we wanted to do something different and it got me thinking, what could we do? Our mission today is we're going out to see Barry Flanagan and Barry runs the urn water taxi, has done for the last five years. He is docked here at Enniskillen Castle, you can just see behind me, and we're going to spend a couple of hours out on the water. Really, really looking forward to it and um, hopefully my sea legs will stand to me. We're life jacket up, we're gonna be safe. So if I go in, even with my limited <laughs> swimming skills, I should be all right. And Barry said that these are self-inflatable as well. So if you do happen to go in, um, they'll obviously inflate without you needing to do anything. We've been going since 2016 here on Loch Erne and taking people out on tours of Loch Erne, getting to these little remote parts of the loch, away from maybe the town and away from Devonish Island and seeing some more of the loch, some of these little islands that people don't get to visit very often and tell people about the history and uh, really showcase Loch Erne in its best light. I've made absolutely no secret about it but since I've been home and fallen back in love with Enniskillen, with Fermanagh, the water has played a huge, huge part to it. I'm very happy on a boat and I'm very happy on Barry's boat to be more specific just to have someone like Barry just to talk to and his, his tour and his guide and his knowledge of the town is exemplary. Just coming up to Petora Lock Gate, which was built at the same time as the hydroelectric power station in Ballyshannon. And we're gonna be passing through the Lock Gate to the left-hand side and up on the hill beside Petora Lock, we have Petora Castle the remnants of an old plantation castle. We basically take people on guided tours of Loch Erne. We have a private boat here, so it's only for your own private group. If you hire us, you have your own skipper and tour guide aboard, and your skipper and tour guide will tell you all about Loch Erne, all the different bits of history around the loch, the different places to see, what wildlife we have around us, and it's a really relaxed tour. We just try and talk to people, have a conversation, encourage questions, encourage you to bring a bit of food and drink along if you would like to, and just relax and have a nice day on the Loch Erne. Not just pedestrian speed either. Barry, right, don't take it away. This boat can't move. You'll get where you need to go and you'll get there fast. I can promise you that. I'm almost 30 years of age. I am only really truly starting to appreciate the lock now. Being out with someone like Barry, someone that's so passionate, so knowledgeable, and just a really good lad. Being out with him and experiencing the lock is very different than being out, I think, on your own. This is a very different experience. This really is a tour. This really is getting exposed to the town and to the county by water on this stunner of a boat. We're going to power back in towards town, we're going to see the actual between the bridges from the boat and, uh, and we'll round up our tour, but earn water taxis is something you just got to do. You can do it with a bunch of mates, you can do it with a hen and a stag or you can do it with your granny and granddad because it is the most perfect way to see Locker. Take care, Karen. All the best. See you later.